Hi everyone, Sherry here, and today I wanted to share with you a card that I made using the Newton's Nook Ornamental Newton. So I have my Nina 110 pound cardstock and my Misty, and I'm going to use some Simon Says Stamp Intense Black Ink to stamp the image, and I'm going to do that twice just so I can make sure I get a good crisp image. And then I'm going to start the coloring. And I apologize, I did the hat and did not know that my camera had stopped, as well as there are going to be some glitches in the filming. Um, yeah, uh, I had my camera, I tried to zoom in really close, and apparently on the autofocus it decided it would try to focus on things other than the actual coloring. So. I'm coloring the ornament here, and I'm using an R29. It's my darkest, and then I will use an R24 and an R14. Now, I will tell you that I don't color a lot with my Copic markers. I tend to be a little intimidated by them, and I'm trying to branch out and do more than my normal water coloring that I absolutely love. So. You know, I don't know that I can really tell you um, the actual techniques here with the coloring. I'm just doing what I do. Um, so with the green markers for the stripe in the ornament, I am using a YG67 as my darkest, YG25, and a YG03. Now for the bottom of the ornament and the top of the ornament, because my dark color is so dark, I put down my lightest color first to try to help me blend. And um, the darkest color was a BG-18, and then I'm using a BG-15, BG-13, and a BG-11 as my lightest. So here again I'm putting down my lightest color, and then I'm going in with my darkest. And then I have uh, the two, what I would consider the medium tones, one just slightly lighter than the other. And then again with my lightest color. And I apologize for turning this a gazillion times, but um, it was necessary for me to color. <laughs> I hope I don't make you drunk. So now I'm coming in with an E33 and an E31 to start coloring Newton. And I'm coloring him as a seal point Siamese. And then I'm going to bring in my darkest color, which is an E27. And then I'll use an E35 and an E33 to bring that out some. And then I will go over it again with my E31, just to blend that out a little bit better. For the ears, I'm using the E27 and the E35, and I'm using just a real light touch on those ears since they're so skinny. And I'm using the same for the paws, both the front paws, the tail, and the um, his hind paws. So again, laying down just a little bit of the E27, and I will come in and blend that out with the E35. And now for his ears, I'm going to be using some R20, and then I'm going to use an E30 um, just to kind of dull down that pink. And again, I'm sorry for the camera action there. And for the top of the ornament, I'm using my cool grays. So I'm using the C5, the C3, and the C1. And I'm going to do the same with the white part of the Santa hat and the candy cane. And I'm, well, actually, I just used the C3 and the C1 on those and then blended them out with my colorless blender and then went around and cleaned up any 
little spots that seat out. So here I have cut out a banner using the Simons' Stamp uh, basic banner dies. And I am going to stamp the sentiment feline festive with some Versafine Onyx Black ink. And I'm also using some patterned paper from Lawn Fawn, which is the perfectly plaid Christmas. And this is actually where I got my color scheme uh, for the Copic markers. And here you can see that I have also colored a scrap piece of paper. And I am using the Newton's Nook Pine and Holly die to cut out some of the little pine boughs here and some of the berries and I used this technique because I did not have any cardstock that I felt like matched uh, the entire theme of what I was doing here. So now I'm attaching his hat with a few glue dots and then I'm going to figure out where I want to place Newton takes me forever. Then I'm going to use a little bit of Tombow to um, glue Newton down. I really like the Tombow. It gives me a little bit of wiggle room, if you will. And then I'm going to attach the um, pine boughs with the um, with my zig glue pen, and I'm going to place that right over the ornament hanger. And so I will do that with all of the boughs on both sides. And when I finish getting those attached, I'm going to come in and I'm using a little bit of Tombow on the back of my berries. And I'm going to place those in the middle. And then for a little bit of dimension, I'm going to go ahead and pop up the banner using some foam tape. I'm going to place that on the pattern paper. And then I will adhere everything with some Tombow to an A2 top folding card. And while I'm doing that, I um, just wanted to remind you that all of the supplies that I've used today will be listed down in the video description as well as on my blog. And so for the inside, I'm going to use the Big Holiday Wishes. And I'm going to stamp that with some Versafine on its black ink. And then the little candy cane that I colored. I am going to use some glue dots and put that down right beside the sentiment. And that's my card for the day. Thank you so much for joining. I hope you enjoyed. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And I hope you have a fabulous day. Thank you.